Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Bachelor Nation has a terrible reputation for turning out too many unhappy couples in recent years. After becoming engaged on the show, couples from The Bachelor, The Bachelorette and Bachelor in Paradise frequently didn't make it to the altar. In 2023, there were quite a few Bachelor Nation weddings, despite this recent decreased trend. Many of these relationships dated back to earlier times, when the success rate was marginally greater. It's also encouraging to discover that some Bachelor Nation members have since found love with people outside the series. We ship all 11 of the Bachelor Nation couples who tied the knot in 2023. After a somewhat terrible voyage through Bachelor Nation, Claire Crawley eventually found happiness in 2023. Claire suffered heartbreak on The Bachelor, several seasons of Bachelor in Paradise, and the brief Bachelor Winter Games. Claire thought she had discovered her true love in Dale Moss when she became The Bachelorette. In fact, she left the show to be with him. Sadly, their relationship was a disaster, and they ended up divorcing. Claire never appeared on reality TV until she met Ryan Dawkins, who she met after leaving Bachelor Nation. The couple eventually eloped in February, despite their earlier plans for a more elaborate ceremony. Claire and Ryan appear to be happy on social media, and they are expecting their first child together through surrogacy. The 23-year-old former football star, Colton Underwood, was supposed to be the main cast member of The Bachelor, but he had other ideas. Colton came out as homosexual long after his season, and Bachelor Nation welcomed him with open arms. Colton soon disclosed that he had in fact met a unique man by the name of Jordan Brown. Colton and Jordan were officially married in a heartfelt ceremony in May. Fans of Bachelor Nation were overjoyed to see Colton find true love, and he appeared to as joyful as ever. Colton formally added Brown as the first half of his surname after the wedding. We love to see that the couple is enjoying their best life together as newlyweds right now. After getting engaged during season six of Bachelor in Paradise, Hannah Godwin and Dylan Barber wed at the end of August. Fans fell in love with the couple right away, and it made them thrilled to see a rare happy ending in the series. Hannah and Dylan have been using social media to provide fans with relationship updates ever since their time on VIP. The couple wed in Paris, and it was a lavish occasion. Numerous cast members from Bachelor Nation, as well as a few from other reality programs were present. The ceremony was dubbed the Bachelor Nation Royal Wedding by fans, and it really should have been. In 2023, Callan miller Keys and Dean Unglert tied the knot as another couple from B.I.P. Season 6. In September, the pair got married in Colorado, not far from Dean's birthplace. Both Dean and Callan adopted Callan's maiden name, Belle, as their surname in remembrance of their late mother, who died of breast cancer. Because Callan loved attending to camp as a child, the wedding had a summer camp theme. With each guest having a nearby cottage, it felt cozy yet intimate. Rustic Bachelor Nation weddings are so much fun. Sarah Heron first appeared on Bachelor Nation during Seenlow's season and it was immediately apparent that she had a golden heart. It was heartbreaking to witness her heart break repeatedly, and it was obvious that none of the Bachelor franchise guys she dated were deserving of her. Regretfully, Sarah's 2023 year has been incredibly challenging. Sarah fell in love with Dylan Brown, a man who wasn't on Bachelor Nation, but the pair tragically lost their baby when Sarah was 24 weeks pregnant. Despite the devastating experience, the couple remains optimistic about their chances of becoming babies through in vitro fertilization. In September, Sarah and Dylan tied the knot in the Grand Canyon, of all places, in spite of their difficulties. 
We hope for the couple's success in the upcoming year. After season seven of Bachelor in Paradise, Serena Pitt and Joe Amabel emerged as an unexpected romance and have been going strong ever since. In 2022, the pair tied the knot in a modest courtroom ceremony. Serena and Joe, however, delivered on their promise in to return September, with a The couple wedding. remarried in a ceremony held in Charleston, South Carolina. Although Serena and Joe had no family connections to Charleston, they visited the city and immediately fell in love. There were well than a hundred people in attendance. Some of them were obviously celebrities from Bachelor Nation. Thomas Jacobs and Becca Cuffrin had a difficult start. After meeting on season seven of Bachelor in Paradise, the couple fell in love right away. But Becca made the decision to leave Paradise alone prior to the conclusion. She and Thomas, however, unexpectedly made up after the performance and were in a committed relationship by the time the season premiered. Thomas and Becca had originally intended to wed in early October of this year, but they opted to postpone their wedding until 2024 after discovering they were pregnant without warning. In September, Becca and Thomas welcomed a handsome baby boy into their lives. In a further twist, the pair wed in a small courthouse ceremony. The couple is already content in their marriage, even if they still intend to have a grander wedding in 2024. Ben Flagnick, the former star on The Bachelor, has taken a break from the series and is delighted about his decision. Even though Ben became engaged at the conclusion of this season, the union was brief, and he remained unmarried for a number of years. Ben shocked his fans in November by sharing on Instagram that he had gotten married in October. Ben has only mentioned his bride's name in passing in the article, referring to her as his best friend. Ben might not be a significant figure in Bachelor Nation, but it's good to know that he's happy. In November, Kenny Brosh and Mary Pepin tied the knot in Puerto Rico, one of the most romantic locations on earth following their engagement during BIP Season 7. During Bachelor in Paradise, despite being 15 years apart in age, Kenny and Mary fell deeply in love. Since then, their relationship has been strong. Mary clarified that because 11 elephants is a lucky number that can portend good things, she and Kenny deliberately decided to tie the knot on that day. In Puerto Rico, where Mary's family is originally from, the couple was married. Only 65 guests attended the fairly intimate wedding to witness the pair exchange vows. During Clayton Eckford's season of The Bachelor, Teddy Wright debuted on The Bachelor Network. Neither with Clayton nor on season 8 of Bachelor in Paradise did she find love. Teddy cut her losses in week 2 of B.I.P., and permanently left Bachelor Nation. Rather, she discovered love in Nicholas Myers. The pair married in November, only a few months after getting engaged in April. Teddy and Nicholas tied the knot in a small-scale Napa wedding, and it was evident that Teddy made the right choice by choosing to pursue love outside of Bachelor Nation. Ari Lyondick's season of The Bachelor introduced Tia Booth to the followers of Bachelor Nation and some could argue that she escaped a bullet when he sent her home right before hometowns. Taya made another attempt at pursuing Colton Underwood on BIP Season 5, but her efforts were not successful. Tia and Colton would not have been able to work out, as Colton finally came out as gay. Thankfully, Tia's friend Taylor Mock, who isn't a member of Bachelor Nation, proved to be an amazing partner for her. After teasing their followers with the notion that they were expecting their first child in June 2022, the couple unexpectedly announced their engagement in April 2022. After their baby was born in December 2022, Tia and Taylor tied the knot in November of current year, almost a year later. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.